Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you some of my favorite things from the last month. Now, typically I don't do these every month, but last time I had like a ton of stuff. So I really wanted to avoid that this time around. So I will think about doing them every month and if I have enough stuff to share, then I will. But if not, then I'll hold off. So if you're interested in seeing some of the things I've been loving, then just keep watching. So we're gonna start out with skincare. So the first item that I have to share with you is from St. Ives and this is the Hydrating Daily Cleanser in Watermelon. And honestly, what makes this a favorite is the scent. It smells absolutely delicious, refreshing. Like super sweet watermelon. Well, not super sweet, it just smells like watermelon. And I really like watermelon, so. <laughs> I use this in the mornings. I alternate between this and a different cleanser, um, <clears throat> but the other cleanser I've been using for a while. This one, I, I enjoy using it in the morning because it just kind of like wakes me up. It makes me feel all refreshed. I don't use it every single day because like I said, I still use my other cleanser, um, but it is nice when I feel like some extra refreshment in the morning. And to go along with that, I also picked up the moisturizer and this is the Glowing Watermelon Moisturizer and it smells the same and honestly that's why I picked it up. But I do find it to be hydrating. If I had to say, like this one is probably more so the favorite. This one kind of just goes along with it. I haven't used the moisturizer long enough to really tell you guys if it's great, but it seems to be pretty good. It is hydrating, but it's not like oily or greasy. It kind of feels like one of those water gel type creams. So. I've really been enjoying this. The bottle is quite small, but I do not use this every day. I only use this if I'm using this. Next up is probably my most favorite favorite out of all the things that I have here. Well, take that back. It's like my second favorite. But anyway, this is Grande Lash MD. So I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale and I was a bit skeptical um, just because it's meant to, it's a serum meant to grow your lashes and I just, I didn't know if it would really make that much of a difference, but I have to say, I have noticed a difference. Um, I've only been using it for about a month. Um, I did take a before picture, but I did not take an after picture yet. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wait until the full six weeks that I've been using this to kind of take an after picture so I can co compare them. But just looking at my lashes on a daily basis, I can definitely tell that they are fuller, which is not what I expected. I already thought they were full enough, honestly. Um, but I was using this to try to get some more length because you know I was so used to wearing the lash extensions that my lashes seemed short. So they are fuller, but they are also longer. And I can definitely tell what I put on my mascara, which we're gonna talk about next. <laughs> uh, and just, I've really just been enjoying this. All right, so now I have some makeup products and you may have noticed that I'm not wearing much makeup today because I really want it to be true to like the makeup products that I have been loving. I have not been wearing a lot of makeup because of obvious reasons, staying home, wearing a mask at work. I don't like wearing makeup with a mask. So generally, if you see me with makeup on, it's because I had to go somewhere or because I was filming a video. <laughs> so, this is like my everyday face right now. So I do brows, concealer, lashes, and lip gloss. So yeah, the brows, I didn't want to share that because honestly it's what I've been using forever and I don't feel like I need to talk about it. But lashes is this one. Now I kind of mentioned this mascara, my last favorites, but that was my first time using it. And I have to say I've been using it since then and I really, really love it. It makes my lashes look so long. Um, somebody actually told me they thought I still had my extensions on when I was wearing this, so that's a plus, but that's probably also in combination with this, so. Um, anyway, I didn't mention the name. This is L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara, and it's just really good for lengthening and giving you that dark look. It's not the most volumizing, but that's not really what I was looking for, so this has been perfect for me. The other mainstay in my makeup routine is concealer. And I've been alternating between two NARS products. One is the soft, or actually this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in the shade Caramel. And then this is the Soft Matte Concealer. And it's also in the shade Caramel. So today I'm using the Soft Matte. 
but really it just depends on where I'm doing my makeup on um, which one of these I choose I feel like they both work really well the soft matte one is like I, I don't even set it sometimes when I use it because it is more of a matte finish whereas the radiant creamy one does have a bit more dewiness to it and it doesn't look greasy or anything but I do definitely feel like I need to set this one unless I do a tiny tiny amount and kind of just rub it in <laughs> I do that too just depending on what I'm doing um, but these have just been working out really well for a natural look but still cover up some of the darkness if you're like me you have dark circles on your eyes that is like the one thing that I don't like to see on my face <laughs> and so I like to cover that even if I'm not really wearing makeup um, if I'm gonna be going out I do like to cover it I don't do it all the time a lot of times y'all know I'm out with nothing on my face but if I am wearing a concealer only and no foundation or anything these are the two I've been reaching for and then for the lips I have been loving this Milani gloss and this is in the shade teen spirit and I have to say that's the only thing I don't love about this gloss uh, the name I hate the name but I mean I don't know, I don't know why would they, they would choose that I'm not a teen and I don't like wearing a gloss that's called teen spirit but either way I do really like it and I love the wand it's pretty like thick it's like a thick flat doe foot so I feel like it applies the product just really well also this smells very pleasant it's not sticky the color it's pretty sheer but that's what I wear like on a daily basis so that works out perfectly for me it does not accentuate any dryness in my lips it gives me just the perfect amount of shine without looking overboard and I'm just really happy that I decided to try this one out so I do have one perfume that I want to mention and this is from Juliet has a gun and this is called sunny side up now isn't this bottle just so stinking cute I feel like it looks so different than anything else in my collection and it's kind of like quirky but it's really cute so I really like the bottle uh, it is opaque but if you hold it up to the light you can kind of see through it so that way you can see how much perfume you have left uh, but anyway about the perfume it is a sandalwood scent it's very creamy very like light I think it's like sandalwood and musk are the main notes that I can smell in it so it has that woodiness to it uh, but it's just very like soft and comforting <laughs> and light and airy but it sticks around a long time this is definitely more of a personal scent I don't think that others will compliment you on on it so if that's what you're into then don't worry about using this one but honestly I've really been enjoying this I initially when I smelled it I didn't think it would stick around for a long time because it is such a soft scent but it honestly stays around like hours and hours probably at least about five or six hours on me which is really nice for a soft scent yeah it's just really creamy and milky and like very comforting i do plan on doing a blog post review on this at some point i meant to do it last week didn't get around to it so hopefully i'll get that done soon so you can kind of learn more about the notes and all so just keep an eye out for that whenever i do that blog post i will definitely link it in the description of this video the next item I have is something that I've been using for my gel manicures and this is actually called Magic Remover. So what this is, is this is a product that you can paint on your gel nails to help remove them faster. So I hate removing my gel nails. That's like the thing that deters me from doing gel sometimes because I hate the takeoff process. This makes it a little bit easier. It's not 100% like magic or anything <laughs> but it does help so basically this is like it looks kind of like glue it's very gloopy but you paint it on well first I buff off the top layer so the top coat I'll buff that off first and then you apply this on your nails just like you would a nail polish and I leave it on for about five minutes and you can see like it basically will make your nails your your polish like bubble up you'll see it kind of like bubbling up and then I just take the um, the tool I don't know what it's called but I guess it's like a cuticle pusher or whatever I use that and just gently push it up now you don't want to scrape too hard because that will damage your nails essentially that's the same as like peeling off nail polish which is really bad for your nails <laughs> but um, if 
if this is done good, like if this is working well, like I got off all the top coat and I let it sit long enough, then really all I'm doing is basically just touching it and it's literally just coming up. It's really cool. I have to show you guys one day, but I feel like this has made my gel manicures a bit more not so intimidating because I know I can easily take them off with this. The next product I have is actually a pair of sunglasses. These are not new and I'm pretty sure you can't buy these anymore, but I want to be honest because these have been like the only ones I've been reaching for lately. And these are by Chloe and I love them. And I have a lot of sunglasses, like that's one of my little vices, one of my many vices apparently. <laughs> but i have been wearing these quite a bit they're really comfortable um i wear them to go walking with my son or running outside so they're comfortable enough that they don't like fall off they don't feel too tight some of my plastic sunglasses can sometimes feel so tight that they give me a headache these are like the perfect like weight for me and everything and they're just really comfortable and i really like them they're really different too than other sunglasses that i own because they're round so that's what they look like and I've really been enjoying these this month. The next item is actually my favorite item of this video and it is my Apple Watch. Y'all may know if you follow me on Instagram that I broke my last Apple Watch and it was like the second generation one so I was not able to get it fixed. Well first of all I couldn't go into the Apple store when it broke. Second of all when I looked up the pricing on getting it fixed like through Apple it was like 200 something dollars and I'm like, mm -mm, not for this old watch. I'll just wait and then get another watch eventually. So for Mother's Day, my husband did purchase the new Apple Watch for me. And this is the one that I wanted because it does have the ability to do an EKG on it, which I think is really cool. And without telling y'all too much of my business, I do go to a cardiologist every now and again. <laughs> So I felt like it was really cool for me to have that ability to do that on my wrist. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've really been enjoying my Apple Watch. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I did want to mention it because it has been a favorite. It's one of those things that after you get it and you wear it for a while, you kind of don't think about how much you rely on it until you're not wearing it. And then I just felt so lost without it, honestly. Like, I kept... <laughs> I kept thinking I was missing texts and emails and I'm not I didn't like knowing how many calories I burned that day I didn't like knowing you know if I had been standing up enough it's just one of those things that I kind of took for granted because I had an Apple watch for so long and then when I didn't have it I missed it dearly the next thing that I wanted to mention is not one that I'm going to bring in here because it is a kitchen appliance, but it is my new Curate K Cafe. I'll put a picture in here. Um, yeah, I've just really been enjoying it. My old Curate was on the fritz, and so I went ahead and got the newest one, and I have really been enjoying it. I've been making lattes and cappuccinos and iced lattes. And I always could do that before, but I feel like they're better with this machine. <laughs> so yeah, I did want to mention that because I've honestly used it so, so much. All right, and then the very last thing that I wanted to mention was actually a TV show, and it's not a new one, but it is How to Get Away with Murder. So that's been on for probably about seven years now, I think, but it finally ended uh, a few weeks ago, I think and it's kind of like bittersweet because i love that show and i just felt like they did a really good job of keeping it keeping it interesting from beginning to the end if you watched the first season which i'm sure a lot of people did but if you watched the first season you may have wondered like i did how are they going to keep this up you know for continuous seasons i figured it would only last like two or three seasons because what else are they going to talk about but they did a really good job of keeping it interesting um, Annalise, the main character, I, I love her and she really stayed true to that same character throughout. I mean, she, of course she grew up, she grew and you could see her growth, but I do feel like they just did a really good job with like casting of her in particular. So I love that show and I wanted to give it a shout out since it, since it ended. And I know a lot of you may be looking to watch new TV shows now. That's not new. But some of y'all didn't watch on it. You never hopped on a train. I'm telling you, if you did not, catch it on Hulu or Netflix or whoever's showing it. So definitely you will not be sorry.
All right, so that's it for the things I've been loving lately. Let me know down below the things that you've been relying on over the past month or so, especially with this like stay at home movement. And uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing well out there and staying safe and staying sane. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.